There we go. Okay, I'd like to introduce Dan Danielson. We all know Dan, but um, here's a little bit about him. Um, Dan's fascination with watercolor began at the American Academy of Art, studying with an under well known, renowned Irving Shapiro. After an exciting creative director career in advertising, Dan began painting full time and teaching. His award winning work has been seen in many watercolor shows and businesses. Growing up in Berlin, Illinois, he's always enjoyed art. As a child, all he needed were paper, pencils, and crayons to keep him happily entertained for hours on end. Now, one thing has changed. Eh? <laughs> and now, from his basement art studio in his Wheaton home, he enjoys tackling many types of subjects. He believed art is a language, a way to communicate with the viewer. It's meant to be shared. Uh, memberships include Transparent Watercolor Society of America with signature status, Illinois Watercolor Society, signature status, and a board member, and DuPage Art League teacher. Let us now have Dan critique our art today, as he said, um, that show, share, discuss, get feedback, the good and the bad. That's how we learn, and that's how we get better. So Dan's going to help us get better today. I oh, my God. <laughs> Most of all, thanks a whole lot for inviting me up here. Um, what a great group this is with all the different uh, uh, committees that you have, and people are really involved. So I'm always impressed when I watch your uh, past videos, how involved everybody is. And that's kind of a rare thing. You don't see, you know, usually with uh, art groups, you have one or two people that do a lot of work, but here it's kind of spread out, and so it really works, works well. Um, uh, thanks so much for, for letting me be here. Um, the, the, let's, let's start the morning with one question, okay? Uh, it's a, a simple question, um, but it may not be an easy one. Um, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Quite sure. I don't know why I'm here, really. Uh, Anybody know why? I mean, you said I prefer a critique, right? A critique. Oh. Well, see, I you, you expect me to look at your work and say, okay, well, you got to work on the composition here. You got to look at the perspective here. You got to make this large, make this smaller. You know, and, and do all these. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh sure. You're not going to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> That that actually is pretty easy to do. I mean, it's, it's I've done it for a long time, but I'll tell you what I am going to do. What I'm really going to do, which I think is even more important, is that I'm going to try to recognize the reason why you did a painter. And I don't know if you study study the the subject matter before you paint something. Or do you just paint it trying to copy a photo? Or are you just kind of trying to copy something? I tell students, we are not copy machines. We don't do that. I don't, we don't teach that. You know, we interpret nature. We interpret reality. We take a look at it and we study it. For, before you pick up a brush, before you do anything, look at something and ask yourself, why am I doing this? You know, what's the reason for it? What is inspiring? And then you interpret what, what you're seeing. You're not copying your interpreting. Yeah. So this is what I do. I've studied all of your all of your paintings. I've looked at them all. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, looked at each one. And the first thing I try to do is what was this artist thinking? I'm trying to get into not so much the artwork. The artwork we'll be looking at. So, right? But what was the artist trying to say? It's a art is a language. That's what we're, that's what we do. It's like learning a new language. You know, it's like learning French. You know, um, it's it's kind of especially water. So it's kind of tough. To do. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through each one, we're gonna do every one of them, and I'm not going to say this. Oh yeah, make this redder. Make this <laughs> make this smaller. You know, try changing the composition. Because that's not up to me. That's up to you, the artist. Okay. I'll make suggestions, and I'll actually show you suggestions on, on not just me talking, 
Because sometimes I start talking too much, but uh, I'll give you an example. Let's uh, we'll get going anyway, and uh, I'll show you show you what I'm, if, if I made any sense so far. Uh, this will it, it, it doesn't make any sense to you. This will kind of clarify what, what I'm trying to say. Uh, so let's uh, start out with me sharing a screen. You may be the host, right? Hold on, hold on. There you go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, as I'm, now I'm the co host, I feel much better. <laughs> All right. So let's start this. And by the way, while he's um, doing that, we're going to have a, only about three minutes per person. Um, we feel 29 paintings. So if I, I'm going to time each one, and if it gets kind of over the three or four minute mark, I will go into the next one because we can't, we got to give everybody a chance. So I so will just let them know. Let me know, just give me a, you know, you know or something, let, yep. me, let me know. Um, so so here's, here's Angie, Angie, uh, Angie, Angie, of course, of course. Um, take a look at this, and I, I liked it, uh, and your, your reason, I, I know probably you probably like gardening or you should enjoy just saw this. Kind of it was my view of sitting in a beach chair in Cabo. Okay. Just looking out at the by the pool and looking out. It's really relaxing. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Fun, you know. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You see where, where you're at. You're yeah. really relaxed and at ease. Um, the, way, the way I was looking at it, though, is that. It looks pretty complex. There's a lot going on there. And sometimes that's one thing, especially when we look at nature, there is so much out there that it's, it's pretty complex. So what I was thinking, maybe uh, what you could probably try to do is um, simplify it a little bit. Maybe what you could have done is take a look at it and maybe just start simplifying things. And the way I would simplify it is is, is take some things out. Just take out this. I don't know if you really would need this. I mean, this is just me talking and me, me painting. Is that do you really need that down in there? This would kind of give you uh, kind of a relief area, a resting area, a resting area for your eye. Um, and then also maybe the sky, perhaps the sky could be maybe just a little bit lighter, okay? Just a little bit lighter. So let's lighten this up a little bit. So what program are you using? Yeah, let's just lighten this up a little bit. <laughs> and we'll talk about the program and all that later on and how this, we do this. We'll talk about that later. Because we keep moving with this. I just want to make sure we get through all of this, you know. Yeah. Wow. Well, well. So if we were to lighten the sky, with the sky was a little complex, right? And it started taking away from, uh, from everything else. So how's that? It kind of yeah, so summarized. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is what we look for. It's not just like a bunch of uh, leaves and, and foliage and some really neat things, but it simplifies it. It gives you direction moving from left to right. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, so kind of going back, it, this is great because you have a before and after type thing. Now, this is just my opinion, so it's not right or wrong. There's, there is no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. Oh, uh, Arlene. I'm Arlene's here, there. I think. Arlene is there. Okay, Arlene. Can you see this okay? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Good deal. Um, so what I think, I, I, I like this. Uh, Arlene, this is something that you saw, um, or did you yeah. put it together? Did you make the composition yourself? Did you put the flower and the bird together? Or did you actually see something like this? Or what inspired you? Okay, I actually did see the Indian pipes blooming last summer at Volvo Bog, and they are the most amazing little thing. They okay. I, so I did see the Indian pipes, and one of the people in our group did take a very good photo. So I had okay. the, the Indian pipe, and the rest of it's just me. You add, you added the bird. You kind of put the bird and the Indian pipes yep. together. Okay. Yep. So the, the hero here, the focal point, really is kind of the, the plant and the bird itself, kind of they're relating to each other. 
which is great. I like that. Um, but the one thing that I saw that maybe could help uh, is that if you were to, let's take a peek at uh, maybe uh, the yellow in the background is, uh, is pretty powerful. So what would happen if we took out some of that yellow and bring, bring our attention back to, back to our focal point, which is really going to be the bird and the Indian ones. I just kind of take out that yellow is just kind of a little overpowering, I thought. So and give it more of a vignette treatment, and it, it pushes your eye towards the focal point. And doesn't get too kind of gives it more of a vignette treatment. It kind of actually kind of then uh, just a thought. I like it. I like the changes. I think the yellow was a little distracting, I thought. And the yellow kind of took away from the uh, the delicate uh, color from the plant itself. Okay? I Perfect. like it. Thank you. And we'll kind of go back a little bit and uh, maybe I'll just save these changes. I could like to go back and see how it's a uh, Progression or I'm here. Okay, so uh, Beth, uh, tell me about what uh, this is from vacation. It looks like a European. Yes, it was uh, with plein air with David in France. Oh my gosh, workshop in France, Le Mou. Hey, hey Le Mou, France. And that was the evening, uh, with our on our own evening, the group, and we had a, um, everybody brought food together, and yeah. the, the apartment was across the river, and we were walking back to the Abbey. Oh, okay. Very nice. I, I like, I like, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know all of these, and it, it's just that, uh, um, that's why I say, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I, it, it was, I, I, what can I say to you know, make this smaller, make it bigger. That's like, that doesn't make any sense. But I, I like to get the feel. I like to capture the, um, or actually just bring out some of the emotion or the feeling that, that you have already expressed being there. I mean, it makes more sense to you because you were there. You love it. And uh, I try to sh have the painting share that same feeling to the viewer. So I'm thinking maybe what we could do is that uh, I like, um, uh, a, a couple things is that uh, there's there's a lot of color, but I don't know what would happen if we were to focus our our eye a little bit more towards. Uh, let's see, that'd be good. Let's do this. And uh, what would happen if we were to just try maybe. Uh, See if I can move this right. I'm this a little smaller like that. And then uh, yeah. it's dark in this foreground a little bit. And force the uh, push the eye up towards more up to the center of interest a little bit. Yeah, yes. Darkness a little bit. Only enough your actual picture looks darker. It's a bit hard to see it. Something about all the glass ones. Let's see if they just Because there's so much color here, uh, beautiful color, but maybe just eliminate some of this color that it's, uh, and then it's maybe just darken the sky just a tad. Just a tad. It concentrates the color, which is really nice, but it concentrates it a little bit more towards the center of interest. 
Look at the difference between the painting and a real painting, and that's another thing you know I've done for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The difference between the painting and the slides. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's kind of a, a thing that you really. Um, but then the other thing I was I was thinking is that maybe uh, cropping in a little bit more too, mm -hmm. just cropping in, and it would just. And that's here. See what happens there when you crop it. Uh, you 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 kind of. Uh, Okay. Bring your eye towards the steeple area and the bridge area and this area, which is really important, right? Right. This is nice, but it almost is a little distracting Steel. from this area here. That's where the life is at. Mm -hmm. This is you have to ask yourself, what is this a painting of? Is it a painting of the sunset? Is it a painting of the sky? Is it a painting of the water? Or is it a painting of the village? You know, you got to, which way do you really want to go? So cropping in like that, it then brings you back, oh, man, this is the vacation. This is the town. These are the people. This is the homes that they lived in. It's not so much, you know, foreground and back to. All right, next one. You will take that one. I bring that last one. Maybe coordinated about sequence it in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Bobby, bring in operas. Bobby, tell us about this. Well, that was the Turtle Island Park in Florida, and I I just love those turtles so much, mm -hmm. but I thought they needed some more color because they're all brown. Okay. And I love the tree, too, because the bush were coming out, and um, but I, it just doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Uh, you may want to try is um, what would happen if you say it's about the turtles, about the trees. Oh, maybe. And the, the trunks are just crazy. Try mm -hmm. what will happen. These trees off on the, on the far shore are a little distracting. I think. You know, uh, you say it's about the uh, about the turtle and about the trees. Well, then let's bring the eye back to the turtle. Let's bring it back to the trees. Like the Let's bring these turtles. They want to. They want to get their. Mm -hmm. And so the design to the middle is to the building that you need. This is just kind of a rough idea, you know. Uh, but the thing we did was we knocked the first thing was knock back those trees, right? The far shore, because you say it's about the it's about the turtles, about the trees. It's not the far uh line in the background. Make sense? Yeah. Maybe we don't have that long to draw. Is Carol with us uh, today? Several people said they could not attend the Zoom meeting. Oh, okay. Meeting, so she may not. Okay, okay. She's up I'm there. here though. <laughs> I'm I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carol. Yes, I can hear you. Who is this gentleman? That's my husband. Oh my gosh, okay. Um I like him. He uh the western wear, kind of the western wear. Uh we have we don't have the oh we don't have the original. No. Okay. Um yeah. uh, I like it. Um what I'm thinking what we could do is uh let's so let's let's make it give a little more color, you know. The, this jacket just looks a little 
washed out a little bit, give it a little more dimension. His arm needs to be behind him. So let's make that a little darker so that arm goes behind him. So yeah, it's kind of behind him like that. And this side, I'm going to make this in shadow. I don't know if it really was in shadow in the photo, but I'm going to make this in shadow because the jacket just needs a little more difference in value. Just getting a little too flat. You know, we've got to give it a little dimension. Okay. Overall. Just a little more dimension to it. I'm going to make that even darker yet. Mm -hmm. Even just don't be afraid to of the dark there. So I'm just going to uh, maybe just tap that a little bit. Um, that. I don't know if I'm in shadow or whatever like that. A little blue in the shadow area. If you really want to have fun, you could do. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's 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 think about um, our comes back. I think a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of uh, it's just so the background's not so sterile. It's a little more. He's outdoors, you know, western outdoors things. Going uh -huh. on and, you know, just a little more interest. That's all. Okay. So basically, I'm just adding uh, value and to give it a little more dimension, the body, you know, the torso area around this and a hat, perhaps. Okay. Uh -huh. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Okay, we don't have. We don't have that. don't have that one. I don't know. Is Catherine around? Are you on Zoom or Kathy? Catherine, no. No, okay. I don't see what it is. It's a really show of watercolor. You know, mm -hmm. what do you think? Watercolors. I mean, I like loose watercolors and 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 fresh and, and spontaneous. Boom! You just let thing let the water go. Uh, let uh, gravity help you. Let the natural elements let it go and don't try to finesse it. Don't try to do everything yourself. Um, so I like this. One thing I was thinking of is that what would happen if we were to, um, the only thing I would do is let's take a peek at how would this look at from profit a little bit. Cool. You know? I mean, like you're in that nest, you're up in the tree, you know? You're really there right next to that nest. Yeah. And you could do something like that. Wouldn't that be a neat? If you had something that was like really large on the wall of your hole or whatever, just kind of a neat thing. It's like you're part of it, you know? And it has a nice uh, negative area on the left side. Um, focal point is obviously the eggs. And it really shows up this really neat texture. Yeah. That's what this is really all about. It's not really it's about the eggs, but it's really about the texture. That's the things that we see, right? So that's what we're going to enhance. So it's kind of fun. We could actually go like this too if you wanted to. Make it more of a super graphic type look to it, you know? As a poopy, just like that. You're again, you're just seeing him. Cool. Mm -hmm. She's here. CC is here? Okay. CC? She's on Zoom. CC on Zoom? Unmute, unmute yourself. <laughs> so I'm thinking uh, what we could do is uh, sewer yeah, type of this. <laughs> She's in. CC, who is this young, good looking gentleman here? He's my neighbor's uh, little boy. They were so kind. The father helped us uh, with shoveling some of the snow during the winter, and I wanted to give him something special, and they just adored this little boy. Oh, okay. I can see why. Yeah. What I'm thinking is that maybe we could just again here on this one, maybe just uh, bring down, bring a little more form to give them form, dimension, uh, and kind of a little more solid feel to this this uh, his shirt. Mm -hmm. 
And then another, uh, one other thing, maybe just, I don't know, it's, no. Just uh, kind of what kind of. He has a real coarse thing, you know, but that's me. Get that out of there. Uh, and then an, another thing that uh, I, these, the arms down in here, I really can't see it, but there's, you know, the arms down at the bottom just are a little distracting. So I would actually, you know, the arms down here. Uh huh. Yes. Don't need the, don't need the arms. Don't need the arms. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then if we want to really bring out, let's see. If I... Yeah, I don't Such a nice good looking guy. Mm -hmm. It brings it brings him out a little bit too, you know. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> now I gotta go find the painting at my neighbor's <laughs> Don't change it. Do another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't don't go back and change old paintings. Go back and, and what you've learned from this one, apply uh -huh. it to the next one. Don't okay, go back. Don't, always go okay. forward. Okay, thank you. I'm doing another neighbor's kid. <laughs> that's, right. that's, exactly, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Clarice? You put this one up. Yeah, you're in that. You know, it's fine for me. I'm not seeing live. You know, I've seen, I've been seeing, I've been watching J, looking at JPEGs and all that. I'm not seeing, whoa, you know, and my thinking has changed a little bit too when I see this live. Now, uh, my thinking may have changed a little bit, you know, as far as what I would do with it. And uh, so what I do like, I think just that's kind of this one back here. Knows <laughs> Now, is that better with the light? That's that, that, it's fine. We'll pick that. Um, Clarice, yes, um, she's here. Tell us, <laughs> tell us, darken it. Um, I love virtues. Okay, and King gave me my first lesson on dating virtues. Okay, and um, it's during the pandemic, and I'm home <laughs> and I just want to fly with color. It's lovely, it's very, very nice. Yeah, it's the way it's bringing me another to it. Mm -hmm. I want to go walk. And I love purple. I always have to purple. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a little lighter here. Maybe just a, a tad lighter. It just might be the truth. Yeah. I like the lighting, but I'm focusing the lighting towards the middle here. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're putting more shadow on the sides. To shadow on the sides to bring the eye towards the uh, middle anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just a little cooler. Mm -hmm. It kind of said nice to warm the cool, the 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 pale green with a, with a little bit of purple in there just adds a little more color to it anyway but uh, the color really is the color really is up to you not you know not not a person is critiquing anything or not any teacher 
Um, I always look at value more so than color. When we all know the value does all the work. Love those socks, my <laughs> yeah. uh, my eye. I look at socks. But anyway, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. We only have three minutes for it. So, I gotta, so anyway, that, that's that's kind of just a thought. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you that one down. I'm here. Diana's not here. I don't think she's online. Are you, Diana? Here. No, yeah. she's here. I'm lying. Yeah. This is my granddaughter. Granddaughter. Okay. Very pretty. Very playful. I was um, thinking of doing a series of all my grandchildren blowing kisses and call okay. it the wall. Of so, um, this is number one. What's <laughs> called blowing kisses? Wall of love, and Wall just love. put them in the hallway. You know, a series of paintings there. I think what'd be kind of fun to do here. Uh, it's such a fun uh, pose and all that. Is that maybe we could just keep it. Uh, just kind of make it a fun young background of some sort here and bring her face really she has a beautiful face pretty face and let's let's bring bring it out a little bit more so dark in the background Pardon me? Darken the background a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Just a little, a little bit here and just bring it down even more so. Yeah, that makes her eyes and her face pop out. Boy, it really brings out even the hair, knock down the hair a little bit. Roll that down like that. Cool. And she has such a, uh, what we could do also is uh, kind of need to uh, give it a little more action maybe in the background, but a little more capacity. Fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a little actual fun, you know, and, and kind of a, a youthful appearance. But the face is like, is right on, I think. Um, it, it's kind of hard to, to, to walk, without seeing the actual with painting, it's hard to Especially when you get the flesh tones, you know. Um, and for me to play with the flesh tones, it, it, it's it's difficult to do. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fran, are you there? On in the in land of Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay, Fran. Excellent. Very good. Very good. What what inspired this? What inspired um, you? The colors. The color. Okay. What about the pattern? Where did the pattern come from? Oh, well, they're variations on a dragonfly wing. Oh, oh okay. I knew there was something that, because that you just can't, uh, something inspired you. You just can't come up with that out of your head sometimes, <laughs> but it inspired you and you interpreted it to, to, uh, from that. So I, I like it. Um, would be it's, it's rather symmetrical. I like that idea. It's it's uh, what would happen if we were to? It's just there's nothing right or wrong. I'm not saying right or wrong, but I love this. It's just a matter of trying different things and just kind of uh, if we were to kind of just move in a little bit. I was playing with this the other. What was I? I was playing with it. I really liked just moving this up a little bit. And larger. Oh, really large. And you like the color. Oops, oops. Well, it's, it, it's, it, this actually simplifies the color too. Uh, you have the three primary colors you got red, yellow, and blue. You know, and uh, it simplifies it down uh, somewhat and uh, maybe gives it a little more impact. I don't know, but uh, I just kind of like it. So it could be strong, a stronger pattern design, or it could be, you know, the original, 
where there's a lot more going on. Or you could actually kind of bring it up and you know, go with a, a whole series. Yeah, you do a whole you know, series. Thank you. That's sure. really, I was wondering where to go from there. That's great. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it really adds yeah. a little more strength. You know, it gives it power. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, the, yeah. the, the lines become more important. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 the wings become um, the most important thing. Uh, and the color is still there too. The color actually becomes stronger too because you get back to simpler areas and primary colors compared yeah. to, to something like that too, which Absolutely. is nice, which is great too. You know, it's just a nice. Yeah, okay. thank you. You know, uh, I was at a class with Sterling uh, Edwards once and he uh, he took one of his paintings and that's what he did. He took uh, a smaller mat and just took pieces of them and said, see, this could be a painting. This could be a painting. <laughs> I should have done it with my own. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. There, there are paintings within paintings, really. Um, that, that's always kind of fun to be able to look at that and see where they're going. Jane, are you here? Yes, Jane? I, yes I am. I'm Hi, on Jane. Jane. Love bottle scapes. This is like a bottle scape. I always like that. So did you, what did you, uh, what inspired this? Well, um, actually, I was inspired by the Wall Street Journal Flower School, and they run a series of photographs of um, compositions of flowers that are inspired by actual works of art. Okay. That's what I okay. used. Did you set something up uh, at home or? No. Okay. You just kind of, you kind of just uh, uh, put it together in your head? Yeah, and inspired by the photograph. Oh, the photograph that you saw. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, I like it. There, there's, there is a lot going on uh, as far as composition goes. Uh, I love the subject, um, and I, I love the looseness of it. Um, but here again, you know, a lot of times when you have a bouquet, or or anything for that matter, especially with a bouquet, there's usually a, a uh, a focal area, not so much a focal point, but a focal area that, uh, where, do, let me ask you this, Jane, where do you want me to look um, as the viewer? Um, is there any one particular area that uh, stands out for you at all, or is it just kind of an overall? Overall, overall but I think my biggest challenge was to get the, the idea of glass bottles. Ah, okay, okay. So it's the glass, the reflecting, the reflection, um, and and and, uh, and and basically glass is is really just uh, dark and lights. You know, it's all about uh, panic. So what would happen if we were to say? Let's try it. It should make it a little more, a little more dramatic, perhaps. Right. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. 
I'm just I'm playing with the light. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. Playing with the light and shadow, mm -hmm. uh, and bringing the eye towards uh, one area so that not all the flowers are competing for attention. You want mm -hmm. sometimes it's always good to have one as the as the hero. Uh, everyone else kind of supports that hero. Mm -hmm. uh, and another thing you you may want to think about is uh, well, I okay, got my next one. Next, we want to think about going to the next <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, Jim. Jim, are you here or? Jim is on Zoom. Jim, are you on Zoom? Unmute yourself, Jim. Sorry, let me do that. says he's been seeing who knows the voice of my I can't get to the chat by the way, guys, because he's got control of it. So oh wait, okay. I got a hold of it again. Um, Jim says no microphone from my side, but I can hear and see what's going on. Hey, Jim. I can hear and see. No mic. This is, I, I would guess this is probably, uh, looks almost like a, a, a Wisconsin scene to me. Um, and I, all I'd like to see is push our, the light pattern up closer to the barn itself. He it says it's Park County, Indiana. Indiana. Okay. The Midwest. All right. Good deal. And all I'm doing is knocking down and uh, bringing the light back up into this area and kind of connecting. This might be a little subtle. Maybe I should, you can't really see it because I'm mean, just noticing on the screen it's a little more subtle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, actually kind of go exaggerate for a little bit. The, the road down here in the lower right, just, I don't know, maybe if you just take a little of that out of there, you don't really need that. Um, and then all I did was I just kind of brought down some of these values a little bit, that's all. You can intensify the shading on the, on the bottom itself. That's all I did. I kind of just enhanced some of the shadow areas a little bit more um, compared to, well, no, that's all. All right, well, that was it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jim, he said, Jim, there, Jim, where is this? Uh, where is this taken? The other Jim says, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that barn by those round barns. Uh, uh, one of my favorite thing, I think we all start with barns, right? I mean, that's how we all we start. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I never left that. I just keep going with that. You know, love that. This is the other Jim. Jim, tell us, where is this at? That was behind the foundry. In uh, we're St. Charles that was being knocked down. Okay. Kind of that the 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 oh, yeah, I think it was an elephant. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. I love the subject matter. I love the subject that kind of industrial rust. You can't beat rust. <laughs> you know, when you try it, it really adds a lot, a lot of character. Um, and uh it really adds quite a bit. Um now let's do this. And, and now that I'm looking at the original, the, the, the photo that we see up on the screen, boy, it sure is a lot lighter than the original. So um, it's so it is pretty light. So what I'd like to do is actually kind of almost like bring the bring the uh, the painting that we see up on the screen closer to what the original is. And that was one of the one thing that kind of bothered me a little bit about the the photo 
is that it's a, just a little too light in value. It just needs a little more, um, needs a little more intensity of values. Just a little more exaggeration of the values. That's all I'm doing. This painting style is very close to yours, it seems like. <laughs> 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 Great style. All right, so actually, well, all I did was I kind of brought it back closer to, to what the original is. Yeah. That's all I did. All right. Nice, Jim. Great subject. Good, good composition, too. I love the composition of it. Um, no doubt about it, what the hero is all about. You know, it's about that. Um, it's kind of the box, well, that the railroad car, but also the rust is plays a very important part of it. Nice. Judy. Hello. I know you're here, Jim. I know you're here. On the next one. All right, let's let's make this a little okay. bigger. There we go. Oh, all right. So, uh, vacation, Judy? Obviously, it's unfinished. No, actually, I have a niece who's a party gal. She took the picture of her two good friends, and um, there's a lot more in the photo than I put there. There was actually sort of a breakwater or a low pier behind the couple. So I'm debating about adding that. Um, and there was lots of people and they're not going to be lots of people, maybe a few more. Well, let's think about that. No. <laughs> um, so, should hear Should it's relax, right? It's relaxed. You should, it's laid back, it's quiet. Um, do you really want to add more people to get away from the, the you know, more people? It's like, good. You're, de you're defeating the whole emotion, you know, you're kind of getting away from the mood, you know, so you got the mood set, you love the mood, but how do you want to enhance the mood? You know, you want to kind of, uh, well, there might be a storm coming on or whatever, but uh, as they're looking at the sunset, you really want more people uh, getting in the way of the sunset. The one thing that bothered me a little bit, though, was uh, this uh, thing up there, this uh, tree fawn or whatever it would be. That's another teasy thing, which is going to have a lot more dark in it anyway, but yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe I went a little overboard there, maybe too dark there. <laughs> Let's bring, I can bring it back. So it's kind of fun. You can bring it back too. But uh, just a little bit, uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sort of. Maybe something like that. I'm saying, because that, that, uh, that green was just a little, and the shape was a little overpowering. Uh, and then what would be kind of fun is we'll just add a little more. A little more shadow down. You know, it's, it's kind of subtle. You can't really see it on the screen a whole lot. Darker there. darks under the chair. Yeah, like that's, what I, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Huh? Okay. I'm thinking anyway. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe not that wide, but um, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Should we I don't know. This is this is kind of I'm, I'm rushing through here, but uh, okay. maybe yeah, just a little, a little purpler. Doing it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. It could be could be a little more purple shadow. A little more purple. Yeah, a little more purple around the gray. That's a good point. You know, if we wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more uh, kind of bring up that. Uh, 
purple. If you want purple, we can do that. Yeah. And just maybe a little thinner brush stroke. Brush strokes a little too, too. The heads of the horizon lines. Pardon me? But the lady's heads at, at the horizon line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. What you what you could do is actually what you what you could do. I mean, it's it's hard to you know when you get something like that when you start uh, trying to change it, it's going to look like you're changing oh, it. Yeah. You know. So, the, but the one thing you may perhaps uh, could do is kind of come back and just uh, maybe um, soften. Just kind of maybe soften uh, soften that line a little bit too. So the horizon? Yeah. Oh, just the Yeah. 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 Soften that a little bit, and actually, it would be lighter too. I mean, and you could there's a lot, a lot of little things you could actually kind of lighten that the, the tiki uh umbrella there, the right. patch you could lighten that a little bit too. But, uh, okay, yep. Wow, Judy, another Judy. Judy, are you there? Are you here? Are you there? Um, well, the one thing that um, um, love the the glass, the crystal glass, the uh, the candle holder, the pattern. There's a lot going on here. You know, there's a lot going on here. And I would think that maybe what we would want to do is to kind of just uh, bring it. Uh, Just bring that on a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring that glass out. Makes you see how much important a uh, value study is. Value. It's all about value. I, I don't know. My, my students, uh, you know, I, I, I keep saying value. Uh, color is up to them. They're the artists. But, uh, and that's what I always look for is value and the light source. Where is the light coming from? Where is that light coming from? Is it backlit? Is it uh, flat lit? Is it left or right? Um, Exactly where is it coming from? But it kind brings it out a little bit. Now, this is that's not the overall answer, but it's just the idea of, of value. Separating uh, the glass uh, from the background. Make sense? <laughs> Judy, this is three Judy's in a row. <laughs> we have a few Judy's. <laughs> cool. There we go. Oh, yeah. With morning with the size was. Uh, I'm looking at the original. I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, 
much nicer. And they usually, usually are. Um, so Judy. Yes. <laughs> what inspired this? What the, where did this come from? You like ab more abstract, more uh, um, abstract uh, uh, realism or? It was Dave's demo on UFO. And I decided <laughs> to try a pouring using watercolor on UFO. And <laughs> afterwards, I played with it a little bit and asked the results. Uh, yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, very, very fun. I mean, I see there's ferns in here. I, you know, that's just what I'm seeing, you know. Uh, and it's, it's almost like what would happen if we were kind of just come in here and look at this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing a, like a direction, right? You see some a direction or movement in there, even though it's abstract. Uh, it kind of changes the feel. You have almost like a like a lower left hand corner. It's a, 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 a more an easier, uh, more of a relief type background. Whereas from the upper left to the lower right, we have some movements in the in the abstract look to it. And it also has a kind of more of a uh, naturalist. Um, Almost like ferns in a sense. So it's it's almost like whatever the viewer wants to interpret. That's just my interpretation. Someone else may look at it and interpret something else, which is a great thing to do for a painting. Let the viewer interpret what your painting is. You know, if you have a if you do a painting of an elephant, you don't want to have a title say, This is an elephant. You know, I mean you, you, you want to you want to keep the uh, viewer uh, involved, let them participate. <clears throat> Let them participate, and this is a perfect one where the viewer is participating in um, um, contributing to the artwork itself. Fun, fun stuff. Yeah, those are fun things to work on. Trying to just uh... Lonnie, <laughs> can you get much closer? <laughs> Lonnie, so tell us about this. I, I'm always amazed at creation and looking closer at things, yeah, okay. and, and I love flowers, so I was just painting a series with, a, a, I called it a closer look, and I just painted the center of the flowers instead of taking them off. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I just, I'm always amazed when I, Looking at them, I'm thinking, oh, well, when they painted it, and I think, oh, they didn't paint that. That's, mm -hmm. you know, not the truth. Mm -hmm. it's never, but, um, <laughs> to be able to, as artists, to be able to really, people think it out. To be able to really see, really look and see something. Not the slave, mm -hmm. not there. Okay. Thank you. Just right side up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but that's great. Uh, be able to really look at something, really study something, a uh, detail. Yeah, well, Carson, we, did, we painted a uh, fly. Oh, yeah. We did a fly, and when you really look at a fly, all you want to do is swat it, you know. But if you <laughs> you study it, take a photo of it, take a photo of it, and blow it up. Oh, they're amazing the eyes and the legs and the torso and everything that goes on with it. Uh, and you right look at them, and it's the same, same type of thing if you just look at the middle part. And uh, but then also look at the petals themselves. It almost is very graceful. It almost looks like um, almost like water too, doesn't it? Almost like the, the the petals almost have that that fluid look to it. Almost like that uh, fluid look. And uh, the one thing I would say, if you wanted to, and we'll just we're just me talking, but uh, if you wanted to come in and say, you know what, uh, let's try. Something like uh, um, and then a little bit motion, a little curvature along it's like so that your eye is kind of drawn into, drawn more into the center. Mm -hmm. Oh, this wow. Mm -hmm. 
So just give a little more depth, that's all. Mm -hmm. Maybe overdoing it down there, but. That's all I'm trying to think. It maybe maybe a little more depth to it. Lonnie, would you sign that yet? No. You're convincing back here. We love, we really love to horizontal. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, that could go, that could go, uh, yeah, in different ways too. Right. Yeah, it could go horizontal, or it'd be more almost like uplifting too, in a sense that um, it would change the mood of it. Yeah, like, like, yeah. yeah. like it put it that way. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, yeah. it's almost like you know, everything kind of, it's kind of whereas you do it's going down, it's kind of, I mean, yeah, but, um, it kind of changes the shape. Yeah. It's a good point, kind of goes up. Whereas, obviously, you know, you've got to go. Next one. What is there? Is there a text involved? It is. It's like, it's like singing. Yes, it's been as always. Very tough. And that's why I say it's not just a matter of making something lighter or darker, or bigger, or smaller, and all that. It's the mood that you're trying to. Well, the bottom pebbles. Bring out those highlights, the one that's kind of shooting off to the right, the bottom one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Now I can see it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Huh? Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, I would probably do, I would kind of maybe the shadows would be obviously different too. Thank you. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lori. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just, 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 Okay. And I love the uh, natural flowers, the native plants I have back there. And then beyond that is the marsh. So it's a very nice uh, nature area. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to be sure. I'm going to
I just, uh, all I do is I kind of just gave a little more, again, a little darker, a little value to bring out the flowers, bring out the white flowers, uh, maybe to bring out the yellow um, against more of a neutral, uh, you know, more neutral background. But yeah, love the wood grain. Love that that type of the feel. Cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey Dave, maybe we should take a break after this one. I'm sorry. The contrast. You made a stronger contrast. Yeah. Uh, uh, now there's no doubt about where your eye is going to go. Right. right. Before it was bouncing back before between two two young fellas. You know. Um, now it's uh, hopefully it's more on the, on the fella and that little white on his nose. That little white, as small as that little white is, you know, it's really kind of it really jumps out. It's got, you know, um, and that's what you want to do. You want to try to bring out your eye is always going to go where the greatest contrast is at. In this case, it's his face and and the white. Okay, makes sense. Did you very nice painting. Very, very nice painting for sure. Mary? Mary? No, I don't think so. Isn't here. So this is really nice. I really like the confident brush strokes. You know, it, it's not it's not like what I call noodling. You know, where you kind of noodling, you kind of you almost tell it's like sometimes it's like it becomes overworked. But she has some nice uh, confident brush strokes. And you can see some of the harder edges, some soft edges, some hard edges. Uh, and, and look at the, the eyes. I mean, very expressive eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the only thing I would do is maybe if you wanted to, um, is just kind of come back and say, oh, Snap down his back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe give a little, little more, um, kind of just a loose, abstract kind of background here. You know, not too busy. Otherwise, it'll take take away from. Okay. From her, you know, but you can make this as dark as you want. I think it would still, I think it would still work. It kind of picks up some of the nice. <clears throat> See, darken the hair a little bit. Darken the hair a little bit more, maybe. And this now, maybe. Yeah, there's our hair. Now look at the hair on the left, look at the hair on the right. That's really a big difference. But you kind of see how that uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, kind of fun. Really, very, really, very nice painting. You could darken this down a little bit too if you wanted to. Fun, huh? Very nice painting, very nice, very expressive. Okay, great. Yeah, Megan's in the back. 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 Megan's in the so uh tell us about you took this photo did you take uh this was when we were traveling down in Tulsa Oklahoma a couple years ago so like it was very much winter in Illinois yeah yeah yeah, so and then I love yellow, which I, I feel like most of my paintings that fall apart are of yellow flowers. 
So mm -hmm. I guess that was the challenge is painting yellow, yeah. Yellow art. So yeah. Very nice. Because I don't know that's the one I'm on. <laughs> so many different uh, types of yellow, just different colors of yellow. Right, and it's hard to like work with the shadows and not have it get muddy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you want to keep it clean, you want to keep it bright. You know, yellow by nature is a very bright, clean, happy color. And when you start playing with shadows, you kind of bring it down a bit. Right. But uh, don't be afraid to try experimenting with shadows too to um, bring out something. And this is kind of just a, a neat, this is a neat tool to actually kind of play with it and see what would happen if, that's why I like to say, what would happen if, you know, you were to um, play around with uh, some different shadows and um, let's see. Let's just take a look at this and see where we want to go and uh, maybe it would be a matter of taking that yellow and just darkening it's still yellow but it's going to just be a little gray down it's going to be the shadow area right shadow shadow and push that back into which should make this even darker maybe a little darker yeah darker and lighter Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shadow areas hmm. just kind of connect some of these shadow areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not on the same plane. And pushing back and giving some depth to the painting itself. For example, let's see, even this back in here could be pushed back. Push it all back. Here's pushing back. Now, this may not be the answer, but it's kind of just a thought to do it an idea what you want to do. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Rather than overall, it changes the it changes the feeling of the of the painting. You may not want to do that, but it just kind of changes the overall feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the stems? <laughs> Wait for the sequel to that. <laughs> Part two will come out. We'll handle stems. Okay. So yeah, this is this is great. Great, Mike. I hope are you here. Oh, that's it. Mike, yeah, of course. Great. Where, where, where is this at? That's a barn and equipment shed down in the Ozarks. Ozarks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, this is fun. This is uh, fun stuff. What? I think you took, a, you took a photo of it? Uh, it's been so long ago, I don't remember. I don't think they had cameras yet. Hi. <laughs> 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 Actually, I think I did this with the, I don't know if you remember an artist by the name of Lou Taylor. Yeah. It, it was, uh, I think it may have been at a workshop or something, or, or uh, uh, I was doing some stuff with Lou Taylor at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. He did the most amazing things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speed this up a little bit so that darken this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
See what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of bringing out the water. Bringing out the water a little bit more and uh, looking out some of it in our water, especially water, it's about subtraction. Um, sometimes we put too much into uh, our work because there's so much out there, especially when you're out in nature, you think there's so much, you got to then you got to force yourself down. Oh, yeah, I just want to think what is really important. Okay. Thank you. It's really nice, right? Yeah. This is for Pat. Pat. It's the last online one. Pat. No. She got it. Here. There she is. What, what, what is the story? You're out on a cruise? No. Uh, the, tall, the tall ships were in um, Kenosha a few years back, and I went on one of the ships and I just took little bits and pieces of with my photos. I didn't want to paint the whole ship. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just kind of capture the capture the feel and, and let the viewer finish off the ship, you know. No. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe what we could do is just work with some water a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not we have kind of left it a little sloppy here, but I'm just bringing off a little bit. So now, you know, it's just I'm just uh, showing how you can uh, increase the depth of any painting. That's all I'm doing. Bring something forward or something back, forward and back yeah. by handling your, your lights and shadows. Okay, Pat? Yeah, thank you very much. Ooh. And another Pat, Pat Center, fellow Pat Center. Yes, I know that. I know. I know. <laughs> Where, where's this right. taken, Pat? Um, this is a barn that was down the road from my husband's grandparents in Georgia. They're going to hold on there? Just loaded on the inside with antiques. Yeah. I don't know if I trust that. Yeah, maybe you just hold that. <laughs> so this is something, a place uh, nearby then, right? I mean, it's just... Uh, In Georgia. Georgia, okay. So you lift the wall. Raise it up. It's, no, it's, I don't know. Just put it on the ground there because it's going to... Okay, just hold it. So, so, okay. Uh, it's still going down. It's not moving around that crazy. Yeah, I'll just hold it. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you go too high, you're dead. Just put it down in the bottom. Why in the way? Just slide us. <laughs> Yeah. So you really you always need to simplify your your value pattern. Things like, you know, looking at every one of the ones that he's done, it's always like, where's your center of interest? And yeah, yeah. What, what do you want to bring out? What do you want to yeah. say? What do you want to really say? What are you trying to what are you trying to express? What have you seen there that uh, especially when you see a subject, especially like this, there's so this truck on the right is very interesting, but I, I toned it down, right? Uh, because it was actually so interesting. It was fighting for attention, even though it was over in the corner there. It's like, look at me, look at me, you know, but you really don't. You want the signs or really in, in the structure, the shape of the building. The shape is really what's key here, I think. Um, everything else is and, and maybe some light uh, 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 focus the light in a certain area where there's maybe sun breaking through some clouds or whatever. And everything else is kind of just uh, dark like that. So, OK. This is a photo that you took now see I'm looking at the, the original thing oh my gosh yeah that's great much better than the uh, the JPEG that's right. yeah. you know well, much nicer than the JPEG that's exactly what I was going to do. So that's what. That's what, I that's what I was going to do. Like an Andrew Wyatt, I love it. Yes, I saw it. I like. Wow, did Andrew Wyatt do this one? <laughs> I like like painting trees and drawing trees out from my head. I just I'm just, okay. I'm doing it almost in the abstract, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's throwing me a lot of an Andrew Wyeth. I just that when I looked at it, when I put it in the thing, I wow, that's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. back. Show your socks. Okay, Renee, you can leave now. These songs <laughs> <laughs> they're still on. Some happen. That was uh, no, you're still on here. I still. But I have I lost okay. Oh my maybe I share. That's what I can use the sharing. Just like do it. Until shares tree. Awesome. Yeah, everyone's lost the There you go. She's back. Renee's back. Recovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hold on. Can we have a trend in the Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, they'll play around. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to, I was thinking of. Uh, what we can do with you is just lighten this a little bit more and then come back with I'm a chapel in order. Thank you. 
Oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. But it, you get the idea here, right? I mean, it's almost the. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get the uh, a, a light pattern that goes from uh, kind of the mid left area, kind of angles down a little bit towards towards the right. You know, um, if you wanted to do that, as opposed to the original, it's all the white kind of just bleeds right off the bottom. I was thinking that. Um, Maybe we could somehow just have a little more shadow in the foreground to focus the eye towards the middle of the painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, small thing like that. Just kind of, kind of interesting. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And... No, there's another one. No, there's. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Johnny's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you here? Yeah, he's here. Um, he was. I don't see him on there anymore. Nope, not anymore. But I can tell him he's going to be in class later. Right <laughs> back, <laughs> and you know, just like this up a uh, tab. Make this rock a little more solid. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I'm focusing uh, composition, a line of, especially if you have waves or waterfall, there's usually a line that kind of pulls. Well, you have to interpret that. Like sometimes you don't always see it because when you're out in nature, you're just like this waterfall and all over the place. But you and your mind have to establish or interpret or find or establish a, a line of movement that kind of goes through the waterfall. And uh, it helps out with the overall uh, composition as such. And uh, in, in this case, it kind of goes from the upper, slightly upper left through the middle down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Everything else, everything over here, way over here on the right, you can make that as dark as you want. The more, the darker you get it, the more uh, impact it's going to have, the more dramatic it's going to look. Next one. Next one is going to be dead. Okay, we'll move here. The Susan's, it's her. Susan, what do you think? What is this? What? Uh, okay, it was inspired by. What inspired you? Uh, Dawn walks on the beach. We went down to Kill Devil the Hills and the Outer Banks for a spring break. It's just, I, I like the sea, I like being by water. So, and I'm a new, I'm, I haven't been to watercolors for very long. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kind of the mood. Yeah, mood. Yes, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yes, yeah. The mood, the peace. 
Were you by yourself out there? Oh, yeah. You had your camera with you? Or did you just kind of sketch it? I had some camera, and I also came back and sketched. I was good. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's the movie the overall the movie, feel. Yeah. yeah. And um, I've, I'm just experimenting with putting King people mm -hmm. in yeah so they would suggest since you're just start kind of starting out with yeah. dinners and all that um uh sometimes watercolor can be a little bit intimidating for beginners you're like a little timid so i would say hey don't be afraid to use a little more color too yeah okay really look at that ocean you know and really look at that blue that you see out there mm -hmm. is it is it this color blue or is it a little more intense you could, the painting is is a better picture than the, mm -hmm. okay open okay. okay. sure Sure, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But even so, just keep, just add a little more, a little more of that, or even squint at the at the ocean itself and look at how dark or light it is. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that that being said, if you wanted to, you can always come back and start Wait. just add a little more. Um, I know. Wow. The other thing I'm, I'm probably do is crop it. That's too new, you know, my crop. Oh, okay. I did blue with that. I see that. I just didn't quite use that blue, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty widely, you know. It's okay. Okay, good. It helps. Uh, I'm saying just try that, and then maybe even with the, yeah, even the sky, kind of the, the sky really kind of just a reflection of the, yeah, and water is a reflection of the sky, you know. So don't be, you yeah. know, just add a little more, a little more color in there, um, and even in sand too, just a little more color in the sand yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, you make, yeah. it makes sense. So uh, you're a, a newcomer. That's great. You have a there's a lot there that you will discover mm -hmm. and have fun with too. Just to have fun with it. Okay, and just try it. That'll be that'll work. You know. Okay, I did that one. Bit. Thank you. Uh, so we've got an interesting one coming here. Um, <laughs> it's here. You can't lose if you paint a squirrel. That's what I thought. Yeah, if you paint the squirrel, people will love it. I thought it was cows. If you paint a cow, people will love cows, you know, and uh, Somebody told me, I, I painted a cow one time. Somebody told me, well, that's not fair. Everybody loves a cow. It's not a you know, but this, it's the same thing with a squirrel. So you, you just love a I put a vertical mat on this to make a, a horizontal uh, vertical. And I don't like it. I like it uh, horizontal. But there's something, does it need something in the left side? I don't know. I, I'm slapping my hand not to paint something over there. Right. Oh, no. On the left side? Yeah, does it need a twig or something just to balance it? Mm -hmm. And you know what? Um, I, I, I don't think so. What you may want to do is uh, you could try you just uh, so it's a muscle. That's on this. You could try um, see how this looks. Put some nuts on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> may not be the color. That may not be the color, but uh, we can thank you to these yes. nuts. Yeah. 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 Or even take out. I would say it because it's like a earth is almost like a it's a it's a subtraction in a sense. So what you may yeah. want to do is actually take out something. Let's see. Take this out, lessen this. Nice tail for that. Uh -huh. Because I think this branch is a little distracted, yeah. to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, yeah. it's almost like it's it's like if you had this really cute little furry guy here, <laughs> and then you have this hard uh shape thing over here, and just ignore that blue up there. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Well, let's say just take off some of this. I can't get that blue on there, so no. yeah, no worry about it. <laughs>
Yeah, I thought his body popped out there. It's like he's in that dark, but you're Yeah. Yeah, it kind of pushes that, uh, it pushes the, the branches and the two, uh, the branches and the limbs, it pushes it back into the sunlight. Okay. And then sunlight hits it and it just lightens it up. Okay. You know, so it's not, again, you don't want it to compete, compete with the two. And then what you may want to do is if you wanted to just, well, you know, you don't need this. Drop it a little bit like that. Okay, so just, yeah, lesson, you don't need to put anything over there, otherwise it might start fighting. So uh, just a, uh, it's kind of more of an abstract shape. That's all it is. Make sense? Yeah, he looks like he's been eating well. That's right. <laughs> I, I was feeding in the penis because it's the run of the lesson and my neighbor said, somebody's having the damn squirrels. And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> Saving the best for last, Tom. <laughs> Saving the best for last. I think so. so. I think so. Are you going to give me a time? Yep. Really not We're running a little, over. a little over, but that's okay. Uh, Tom? Yeah, right here. Tom, the story. What's the story here? What's the moon? Uh, we were driving through the uh, Superstition Mountains in uh, southern Arizona. Okay. And uh, I was just surprised with all the color and uh, interesting shapes and like really blooming. Yellow flowers in the foreground, mm -hmm. and uh, this really struck me. Oh, okay, uh, quite a few years. <laughs> decades, quite a few years. <laughs> Excellent. That's why. That's why I asked. It shows. I mean, you 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 have a a nice feel for watercolor in a sense. You know, um, you have a nice. Uh, Way of handling soft edges compared and contrasting with hard edges. Uh, the soft edges of the clouds uh, contrast with the hard edges of the rocks. So whenever you take those those contrasts, whatever may be hard, soft, hard, small, cool, warm, and put them together and balance them, finding that balance, you'll have a good watercolor. You you've done that here. You got some nice balances of lights and darks, uh, light. And light and shadow, hard and soft. Um, you've got a line that kind of cuts, goes across nicely. And um, it's the only thing I would think that is if you wanted to uh, just soften um, uh, a little bit of the, the horizon going back off into the distance, maybe. Or you soften that, keep that off, or you push that the uh, edge back off in the distance a little bit. And push that. Uh, I like that little tiny cactus way up in the up right side there. Look at that little guy. He's way back there. What are those possibly bad? Uh, they were some sort of vegetation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah it's kind of just block blossoms that are really exploding. So I'm, all I'm doing here is knocking back this the uh kind of not the horizon line, but where this the foliage meets the sky, pushing that back just a little bit, not much. I mean, there's not much to uh this is really really kind of a nice, nice. Nice painting, but if you want to bring these rocks a little bit closer or whatever, you can actually do that too. You know, and it's good composition. Or mm -hmm. well, just kind of like this is kind of a neat thing there. Kind of gives it more of a ethereal feel to it, also, um, where you just have well, dream like, you know, kind of almost, you know, what I'm saying it just kind of softens that, which is back. That horizon line is better. Not that this is better, but I'm just just a different way of doing it compared to compared to that. You know. mm -hmm. Nice. Dan, no more. Dan, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dan. Oh, basically.
this is just it actually comes right on uh, an iPad, Apple iPad, uh, with the uh, with the like an iPaint or something. Or... iPad, it's like a super simple. It's like the free. It comes with the iPad itself. What's with the uh, well, I don't even know if it has a name. It's uh, it, it it's part of the. Um, it just comes with the uh, the photos, the eye photos. It's the editor, probably the editor, and uh, you're doing this in class. I would think in the classroom, you always have to paint a uh, a white house before you paint and a nude. So we're going to do the nude next It's basically just with the iPad. Uh, if you have an iPad, not not with it has to be with like. Uh, I bet not. I don't think it's it's not really with uh, the your computer like a desktop. Right. Uh, it's got to be an iPad. All the editors, some of the editors have we can look into that. The desktop, what icon do you use? When you go back to the desktop on the iPad, what icon will you know, light up? Oh, you mean for uh, to get to that? Uh, what, what icon do you list? The photos. Basically, it's just photos. The photos. It's in photos. It's in photos. And it says, like, edit. There's, like, a little icon at the top. If you want to edit the photos. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So it's, like, in photo, you have in photos. Okay. And then there's, like, a little button that says edit. Okay. And then there is. Okay. Play with that. All right, guys. Thanks. Uh, and, yeah, but Okay. One last, one last announcement. If anybody's interested, uh, I'm doing a workshop at the Peninsula School of Art. Uh, and York and I've done it like it's like my fifth year up there. And well, David, uh, it's really great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's a two-day workshop.